things I've noticed in the industry is there's some things that all contractors have to unlearn once they become a construction company owner. When they're a craft person, uh, certain things are thought of to be rules of business, but as a construction company owner, it is very important to unlearn some of these general business concepts that you and I might think to be true. Let me give you a couple of examples. One is the risk-reward curve for construction. That is, if you look at risk versus reward in general business, what you'll find is that you know, if you buy a risky stock, you would expect a very high return on your investment. Uh, if you take a job or offered a job from a, another company, you wouldn't take that new job with an unknown company for the same amount of salary. You'd say, I want to make more, and that's very reasonable. It's actually rational. But in construction, contracting, as you look at the risk-reward curve, it is inverse to the general business risk-reward curve. That is, it's like this versus like this. And let me give you, uh, uh, you know, an example of that. One is that a small project, a less risky project, a shorter term project will have a higher return on investment. And to me, that's the best measure of reward, return on investment, return on invested capital to build that job. And if you take the other end of the risk reward curve, what you'll find is that the risk uh, and reward, uh, it, that percentage is much lower on the larger risky or longer term projects. So uh, your challenge is to understand that and it's okay to to have a lot of little jobs that actually the industry gives you permission to do that. Uh, another uh, example of a different cost structure or different business principle to have in construction is the, the variable cost nature of construction. You know, we don't make money by selling a lot of volume. We make money in our business by taking the right jobs that have the right cost, the right uh, profit percentage. We can't make money by running our numbers up twice, three times, you know, what they should be. Or, or having a volume jump next year. So you have to be careful about that. You know, remember, you're, every time you sign a contract, you're obligating yourself to 85 to 95 percent cost of doing that work. And, and that's not a settled issue. That's an issue that might, might bump up to 100 percent cost or even more. So be careful about what you assume to be the economics of the business, and you'll be very well served by that.